For this exercise, which I'm calling Spreadsheet 14 Chart Challenge, we'll be going through seven challenges. These challenges are the ones that will most likely or possibly appear on your MOS 200 Excel Associate Certification Exam. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Each challenge shows what it wants to do or what you need to do for each challenge in row number one. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to move through this a little bit quickly so that it will hopefully prepare you time-wise for your exam. So on challenge number one, it says create a clustered, clustered column chart that displays the program name and the average cost per student data. So the hint over here is use column A and column E and hold down the control key. So I would go here to program, hold my mouse down, highlight that, hold down my control key, come over here to average cost per student, hold that down. So I've now highlighted these two columns. I'm going to go to insert, clustered column. This would be my insert column or bar chart tab under charts. And the first one is clustered column. It will also tell you to probably move your chart um, to the right of your data. And that's all that's asking here. And so we just created our first chart. Let's go on to challenge number two. Challenge number two, it says apply style seven, chart style, and the monochromatic palette six color to the chart. So on this here, go ahead and click on our chart, bring up our chart design tab at the top, and notice that this right here in the center is our chart styles. If it asks for layout, your layout is here on the left, but it asks for chart style. And you can click this drop down here, and these are the different styles and they're in order you know one two three four five six and you can hover over it and it will say style seven and just go ahead and click on style seven it also says and the monochromatic palette color six to the chart and right here to the left is our change colors we have our colorful one and these are all different colors or six different colors in the style Monochromatic is a single color with different shades. And so we have monochromatic palette one, and we can just scroll down until we find monochromatic palette six and click on that. And now we have completed challenge number two. We're going to move on to challenge number three. Challenge number three says swap the data in the pie chart over the axis. So when it says swap or switch, we can click on this and know that it's this switch column over here. So click on the chart right here. Chart design has already come up and we're going to hit switch row or column over here on the right. And that's it for challenge number three. Challenge number four, it says to insert a chart title above the chart and then display the percentages on the outside end of the series. So what this is talking about is formatting the chart, adding a chart title, and then adding data labels. So when it says display on there, we could look at data labels. And where does it want it? It's one that's on the outside end of the series. So you can click this plus button here on chart elements. I like going to add chart element over here, chart title above the chart. And so we have inventory levels there. While we're here, we can go to the left again. And if we clicked off anywhere, just click on our chart and bring up chart design, add chart element. We're gonna go here to data labels and it says outside end. And so there we've added our data labels. Let's move on to challenge number five. Challenge number five says use the product and in stock data to create a clustered column chart and place this chart in a new chart sheet named in stock. We've already done this a couple times, but we're going to click here on product and we can do our shift control down to highlight that column. I'll hold the control button and we're doing our in stock. So that's the two that it asked for. So we have these two, our product and in stock highlighted. Click insert. It's asking for a clustered column chart. Go to our column and bar chart, clustered column chart. 
Now, while we're in here, the rest of this says, and place this chart in a new chart sheet named in stock. So we've already done this a couple times in the past two assignments. So while we're in here and chart design is up, we can click on move chart, click on new sheet. We're gonna name this new sheet in stock and click OK. And notice down here at the bottom, we have a new worksheet that's called in stock and this basically is a chart worksheet. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and you can too and move it to the far right. Okay, and that's just practice for moving uh, tabs and worksheets. Let's go on to challenge number six. That was challenge number five. We're gonna go on to challenge number six. It says expand the chart to include the this year data and then add a legend to the right. So right now this chart is just showing last year's data and I will reduce this so we can easily see it. So right now this chart is just showing last year's data and we want it to include this year's data. So when we click on the chart, it highlights our data and our ranges and we have our little blue button down here on the right and we're just going to take it and drag it so that it includes this year's data. Now it shows that we have this orange data is this year's data. The blue is last year's. But to make sure, we're going to add a um, legend. So go here to chart design, add chart element, legend to the right. Okay. Now we're going to go to challenge number seven. Challenge number seven says locate a Pareto chart. For some reason, Microsoft puts a lot of emphasis on knowing where to locate and how to insert a Pareto chart. For this assignment here, you do not have to insert the Pareto chart. We want you to locate it and write the steps down here just as practice so you know. So a Pareto chart would be on our insert tab. We can then go to our charts right here go to our charts grouping we can click this arrow down here and bring up yeah. for some reason it's not letting us click on the arrows wants data okay so i just had to click off of where we were and click on to something else and we're going to do all charts and so our step number two is go to all charts and a Pareto chart is in histogram. And this is just something you're going to have to know. Click on histogram. And there's two charts, a histogram chart. And the next one is a Pareto chart. It shows um, usage first, the highest to smallest usage, and then the total line right there. And it's the Pareto chart. And so just realize that that's how you're going to have to do it. So and we don't need to add the chart. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And our steps are you go to the insert button, all charts, choose the histogram, and then choose the Pareto chart. Okay, so you're going to need to know that for your exam. All right. For those of you that are here for practice, thank you for coming. For those of you that are in the Management 1400, please save this file, adding your last name, first name, and then uploading it to the corresponding assignments page. Thank you very much.